Hello, you've found k and Firewood, and my name's Mike. I'm glad you're here. We just purchased a ginormous truckload of firewood. I don't honestly know if it was a 40-yard dumpster or a 20-yard dumpster. It was huge. This has all come off of an Easton made processor. I went out and I looked at the firewood before I bought it. I knew exactly what I was getting, but what we're doing at the moment here is sorting this out. I didn't think I was gonna sort it out, but as I'm throwing it into these bins, I might as well. You know, I kinda like sorting it anyway, so it's kinda my game. So we're gonna sort this. I think it'd be an interesting experiment. It's, there's supposed to be 20 rick here. I don't know. We know that one of these baskets full fills up our half rick stack up front. So we'll see how many of these baskets we get filled up. We'll kind of separate them as we go. I'll have some boiler wood, I'll have some bundle wood, and I'll have some bulk firewood. And then I'll, I don't know, maybe I'll come across some other grade uh, we discover within the mountain the firewood behind us. So Here's what we're gonna do. These two baskets here are for boiler wood. There are these, you do get some kind of nasty pieces in here. Shorties. This is for bundle grade. So these pieces will go into making bundles. I have some people that are buying some cherry off of us for smokers. So I'm tossing a few of those pieces out. And I started throwing the shorties over here once I realized kind of how many we were getting in this load. So it's, there, there's going to be a bin just dedicated to shorties. And then these two bins over here are going to be for bulk firewood. And we've got all this to sort through. And we're going to see how much is here. I'm going to put us on time lapse and we'll see how far we get. Pause our local broadcast here for just a minute and talk to you about a couple things. Number one, why did I buy this firewood? Uh, it is June 14th, I think, 13th or 14th. And we're approaching two months since the Hoosier Firewood Hysteria. And if you'd like to guess how many baskets of wood that I've split here since the Hoosier Firewood Hysteria, go ahead and guess. Leave it in the comments below. It's somewhere between four and six. I've just had zero time to come out here and, and do this. I've wanted to. It's just... Uh, has not been in the cards lately, just too many things going on. I don't have a whole lot of wood saved back aside for our burning purposes. You know, we built the new pull barn. That's gonna require a little more heat. It's, I'm not gonna keep it 70 degrees in there, but I wanna take the chill off. So that's gonna require more heat, which is, requires more wood. And uh, I've got a couple different people that are buying boiler wood from me now. So between my use and their use, I don't think I'll have enough. So I had to buy some. Now this stuff is coming off of an Easton made uh, 48C. And I, I don't know if it's a 12 way or 16 way wedge, but there are some big pieces in here. I'm not a super strong guy, but um, you know, that's, that's bigger than a one hander, man. That's, that's pretty heavy. That's not, that's not what I, what I sell. Now this probably is a one-hander, but it's filthy dirty. Um, this has been in the, on the ground and in the mud. Uh, I'm not gonna sell that. Uh, so that brings me up to my second point. Um, I mean, look at that. I mean, I, I saw what this was before I bought it, so I'm, I'm fully aware, but people say, all the time. How do you get 100 or 120 or 140 a face cord? Uh, because it's all uniform size in girth and length and you know 
I, I don't sell this piece in with my $140 stuff. I don't sell this piece in with my $140 stuff. So uh, there's a difference. Uh, let's go over and take a look at the basket that I'm making. Well, there's two baskets over there and I haven't seen them in weeks, uh, but there's one over there that I'm separating aside for bundle grade and the rest of it I was just putting in boiler grade because I needed the heat. So let's go over and take a look at that stuff and we'll compare it to what I've bought here. Now this is a basket of bundle grade maple I've been making and they're all, I'll pick one up here, you know, all uniform length. They're all about the same size and girth. Um, you know, those things are almost dead even. Now, I know I'm splitting those on the axis versus a processor. So this is much more precise. I get it. This is some stuff I was making for boiler wood for us. So if it was a cookie or if it was short or if it was a little bit long, I was splitting it up and putting it in this basket. Notice no mud, no dirt. This stuff here is all oak, hickory, and beech that have, has been sitting out here for months just drying. But if you look at it, it's all uniform in length. It's all pretty much uniform in girth. Do you see any mud on that? Any dirt? Any shorties? Any pieces super long? Well, this, but this is, these are barbecue chunks. Any pieces that are two-handers? No, you don't. So I'm not disappointed in the stuff that I'm going through. I knew what I was getting, but there is a difference. I really enjoy that part of it. I like to make them uniform length and uniform size and kind of sort things out. You can see that on all the videos that I make. You know, I've got baskets everywhere. I'm sorting this and sorting that. You know, if you're one of those guys and you're making, you know, premium firewood, you know, taking the time to sort it out and make things the right length and keeping it off the dirt. And you've got a customer calling up your ass about, you know, why it's so expensive. Well, you can tell him these things here. You know, if you want to go buy the, the other stuff, go right ahead. But I know my stuff is a little more uniform. I mean, you can't sell this piece and this piece in the same load and expect to get 140 bucks a face cord out of it. You can't. Anyway, I just wanted to make a few of those points. You know, why are, why are we so much more money than maybe everybody else? Well, we kind of talked about it. I'm still jacking around with this little firewood I bought probably a month ago, but it's been so stinking hot. My gosh, I know it's hot where you are too. 93 today, so I had an epiphany. Uh, I'm gonna load this firewood into that dump trailer and sort this out inside the barn. get the idea right bringing the trailer in here sorting all these baskets out same thing I was doing outside but now we're just doing it inside uh, I've got a couple more trailer loads out there to sort I'm gonna do that off camera get those sorted out and then we'll catch back up later and I'll show you what we ended up with and talk about was it worth it so finally we got all this wood stacked and put in totes we're gonna talk about how we ended up I ended up with two of these half bladders full of these are all cherry pieces I will resplit with the axis and sell for smoker bundles. These are half bladders full of what I'll say like chunk firewood. P 
pieces like that. And that. It'll still burn. It's just not 16 inches. It's not k firewood stuff that I like to sell. Let's see how many I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a half of those totes. And then I had several full baskets of what I like to call boiler wood. These are fairly large pieces, bigger than what I would make and sell as firewood. Not that I wouldn't sell it as firewood. It just isn't uh, campfire type stuff. This doesn't go in the roadside stand. You know, some of them are a little short. Uh, maybe they're ugly. Maybe they're too dirty. I don't know. They're just my grade of, of boiler wood. And I think there are 13 of these. I'll double count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Sorry. 14 of these I ended up with one and a half baskets of these smaller pieces that I'll put in bundles. And the only reason I'm showing you just one bat or half a basket here, I'm sorry, is because I've already sold a, the full basket, made 25 bundles out of that. And then the last little bit we sorted out was just what I call bulk firewood. You know, these are the, they're a little bit bigger than bundle grade. They're certainly all one handers. Uh, fairly clean, no rot. What I what I think of is of good stuff. Let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five and a half baskets of those. Yeah, so the big question, how much did I spend on this? I spent uh, $1,175 for what was advertised as 20 ricks delivered and dumped over there at that dead grass area I was showing you. We ended up with 20 well might as well call it 21 full racks one i sold these two half racks and the, and the rest of them make up the 20. i ended up with two of those cherry half bladders and what seven of those other half bladders of the chunks so mathematically does it work out so while it didn't make 40 of these baskets which would be 20 ricks here at my yard. I think it's gonna work out mathematically in our favor. Now we're not gonna make a ton of money on this, but not including those half bladders full of chunk wood. Everything else I think I can sell. Oh, well, you can't even see that. For $1,455. So just because mathematically it works out, um, do I think it was worth it? I'm not sure. Uh, it took me an awful lot of time to sort this out. And even though I could do it inside, out of the elements, and do it maybe at nighttime, I still think if I had this time back and could use it on the 24D and the Axis, I probably could have made more firewood and more firewood at, at my standards. So will I do it again? Probably not. Am I going to get hurt on it? No. Was it a lesson learned? Yes. Well, thank you for coming by the woodyard and going through that little experiment with us. I don't think I'll be buying firewood again unless it's specifically for us to burn if we're, for some reason, we're completely out. But anyway, there you go. I sorted out some mulberry rounds I had, I had probably for a year or more. I need to get them cut and split and putting four baskets here at the end of the conveyor. And I filled those guys up, so we're going to get those uh, stacked up and broke apart and put them where they need to go. And we're just going to keep making firewood, if that's okay with you guys. All right, we'll talk to you later. Mike from k Firewood, signing out. Bring it here. Atta girl. Good job. Well, let me have it. Let me have it. Ready? Good girl. Sit. Sit. Stay. Stay right here. Stay. Go get it.
That's a good girl. Good girl. Sit. Stay. Ah, 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 ah. Get back over here. Stay. Go get it. <laughs> I think I threw it in her shock zone. Ready? Here we go. 